Okay, so welcome po sa Strategic Cost Management ECC 213. And I am your course uh, facilitator, Jovic G. Kain po. And we are now uh, in Big Picture in Focus, ULOB, uh, for week 1 to 2, a uh, 3. Apply the concept and objective of activity-based costing and management. So we are going to start with activity-based costing or ABC. So activity-based costing is actually an approach in allocating overhead costs to different products. So let's first discuss muna that the traditional costing system so there are two approaches actually in allocating factory overhead or overhead. It may be traditional costing system or yung kanina po na uh, activity-based costing. So traditional costing system, so you do have here the product cost and period cost. So product cost, these are costs generated uh, in the production process. So product cost consists of direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. So product cost is actually also called as inventoriable cost or uh, manufacturing cost. While period cost, these are costs incurred uh, for office and even, even selling expenses. So again, period cost consists of administrative expenses and selling expenses. So product costs appear in the income statement when goods are sold. Since product cost is part of computing the cost of the product of a particular company. So prior to that, the time they are stored in the balance sheet as Inventory. So, kumbaga, again, the cost of the product or the cost of inventory of the finished goods or even work in process and raw materials, those costs are product cost. While period costs appear on the income statement in the period they are incurred. So, these are all expenses related to administering the business and even distribution cost and selling cost. Traditional costing system, so typically uh, use one rate to allocate overhead to products. So isa lang po yung basis niya in allocating factory overhead or manufacturing overhead to different products. Then this rate was often based on direct labor dollars or pesos or direct labor Hours. So yung pag-divide niya, the basis will be how much or how, how many hours for direct labor hours was used for that particular product. So this made sense since direct labor was the major cost driver in delivery or early manufacturing plants. But then there were problems related to traditional costing system. The first one is that manufacturing process and the products they produce are now more complex. So it does not entail more on activities related to direct labor lang po, but also a lot of activities. It may be like, for example, a setup for the particular product, uh, maintenance for the particular product, or even all uh, machine arts used in that particular product. Product. So, hindi lang po direct labor hours. And then, the resulting or the, uh, the, this result in overcosting or undercosting of the product. And the complex products are not allocated on adequate amount of overhead cost since simple lang po yung competition niya which only needs direct labor hours to divide factory overhead or manufacturing overhead to different products. So today's manufacturing plants has a more or are more complex and even often automated. And then 
often make more than one product. So that is why we need to have a basis for allocating factory overhead to those products. And use proportionately smaller amount of direct labor, making direct labor as a poor allocation based for factory overhead. So when the uh, manufacturing process is more complex, then multiple allocation bases should be used to allocate overhead expense to have more accurate bases in allocating factory overhead to different products. And even in such situation, managers need to consider using activity-based costing instead of traditional costing system. ABC definitions. So pag sinabi natin ABC costing, it is an approach for allocating factory or overhead cost. Activity naman is an event that incurs a cost. And the cost driver is any factor or activity that has a direct cost and effect relationship when the resources are consumed. So let's have the ABC steps muna. So we are going to have later on po an illustration on how to compute for ABC or even to identify the cost drivers. The first one in computing ABC or activity-based costing po is that Overhead cost drivers are determined. So you are to identify cost drivers, and after you identify the cost drivers, you need to have activity cost pools. So mag-group po kayo. Okay? Activity cost pools is a pool of individual costs that all have the same cost driver. So you are to group all activities that have the same cost driver and that is activity cost pool. And all overhead costs are then allocated to one of the activity cost pools. So determine cost driver. Second one is group according to cost driver. Then third one is allocate, uh, allocating uh, overhead to one of the activity cost pools. The fourth one is computation or of overhead rate. Using the following formula. So cost in activity cost pools. Okay, so yung total cost pools. And then divided by the base. The base is of course the cost, cost driver. So overhead costs are then allocated to each product na. So allocate to product according to how much of each base the product uses. The first one, determine the cost driver. Second one, yung cost pools. Third one is allocation of uh, cost pools to the activity. Third one is, com a fourth one is computation of uh, overhead rate. And the fifth one is allocation or overhead cost allocation to products. Okay? Let's have po a simple computation. So let's work on example. Assume that the company makes widgets and management decides to install an ABC system. So overhead cost drivers are determined. So this is the first step in computing ABC. So management decides that all overhead costs only have three cost drivers, sometimes called activities. So obviously, a simplification of the real world. Uh, direct labor hours, so the first cost driver, machine hours, and the number of purchase orders. So these are all the three cost drivers used by the management. So we are done with the step one. The next step is allocation or determination of cost pools. 
So like here, for example, you do have here a list of uh, accounts or overhead accounts in the general ledger. So payroll taxes down to unemployment insurance. And on the right side, you do have here the direct labor, machine hours, and the number of purchase orders as the cost drivers. So you are to group this one according to its cost driver. So which of the overhead costs do you think are driven by direct labor hours? So which is the first cost driver direct labor hours? So saan po ba dito? yung merong cost and effect relationship with direct labor hours. Kumbaga, if the direct labor hours increases, that cost or overhead also increases. So let's have this one. So, overhead driver by direct labor hours are the following. So payroll taxes, syempre. Then, uh, French benefits na 2000 and unemployment insurance na 1,500. So these are all uh, cost driver, okay, overhead cost ng cost driver na direct labor hours. The next one is machine hours. So saan po ba dito? In the general ledger list are costs related to machine hours. So the first, uh, which overhead costs are driven by machine hours? So you do have here the machine maintenance, equipment depreciation, and electricity. So these are all costs related to machine hours. And the next, the last one is the number of purchase orders. So finally, which of the overhead costs are driven by number of purchase orders? So the remaining purchasing department labor and purchasing department supplies. So you do have here the number of purchase orders is your cost driver or driven okay, by purchasing department labor and purchasing department supplies. So you are done with the second step, which is you are to group the overhead cost to its uh, cost drivers. So again, uh, the next one is actually computation ng overhead rate. So computation ng overhead rate, so you do have here, the basis. So the basis is direct labor hours, you know, 1,000. Machine hours na 250. Purchase orders na 100. So ABC rates are. So to compute for the rate, so you do have here cost in the activity cost pools divided by the base. So that is the rate. So for direct labor, meron siyang 4,500 divided by magkano yung base 1000 direct labor hours so therefore 4500 divided by 1000 so 4.5 is the per direct labor hour or the overhead rate for direct labor and then for machine hours which is 2500 divided by 250 so, meron siyang 10 per machine R. And for number of purchase orders, meron siyang 4,250 divided by 100. So, 42.5 per purchase order. So, you do have here the ABC rates for direct labor R, machine R, and purchase order. So, you are done. With the overhead rates. The next one is the allocation of overhead cost to each product. Okay. So this was the overhead rate per cost driver. So let's assume that the company makes two products. So widget A and widget B. Meron siyang uh, 
direct labor hours si widget A na 400 and 600 kay widget B. Machine hours na 100 kay widget A and 150 for widget B. And purchase orders na 50 for widget A and widget B na 50. So multiply mo na yung overhead rate and based on the uh, cost driver for each product, widget A and widget B. And then, before that one, notice that all base units are accounted for. Siyempre, this is the total base that we use in dividing or computing the uh, overhead rates. So now let's allocate the overhead to widget A. So simple lang po, i-multiply mo lang yung rate sa base niya na 400. So 400 times 4.5, the allocated direct labor hours or direct labor is 1,800. So just like we learned in accounting, we multiply the base used by the rate. In this case, 400 hours used to make widget A is multiplied by rate of 4.5. This gives a total overhead applied for activity cost pool na 1,800 to widget A. And continuing calculations, so continue nyo lang the computation based on the rate. So, machine R's na 100 nga base for widget A and the rate per machine R is 10 as computed kanina, so 1,000. Purchase orders na 50 na base, then rate na 42.5, so nasa 2,125. And the total overhead for widget A is 4,925. And now, let's allocate also kay widget B. Kay widget B naman, so meron siyang direct labor or sa 600 multiplied by the overhead rate as computed. And then, machine hours, same with purchase orders. So yung total overhead allocated kay widget B is 6,325. So the original overhead to be applied was 4.5 of direct labor given overhead plus 2.5 na machine hours plus 4.250 of purchase order driven. So 11.250 is the total overhead to apply. So ito yung i-allocate natin kay widget A tsaka widget B. So ito yung ginawa natin by using AB or activity-based costing. So, the actual overhead as allocated was 4925 kay widget A plus 6350 kay widget B. So, meron siyang total na 11250 na over applied. Then, let's try a traditional method. So, how come pala na it is over costing or under costing? Yung sabi kanina sa theory na part. So, okay, so what if we had allocated the overhead in the company using traditional cost accounting allocation? So, yung magkano yung allocate? 11 to 50. Tama ba 11 to 50? 11 to 50. So, let's assume that the base is direct labor hours, which is usually under traditional costing system. The base, okay, is a direct labor Hours. So, what will be the amount uh, allocated to each product? So, like here, for example, the calculation. So, this was the list of overhead, okay, general ledgers. So, the total of this one is 11 to 50. So, simple calculation using traditional costing system is that 11 to 50 divided by 1,000, so that is the rate. Okay? So, saan galing yung 1,000? Yun yung total ng direct labor hours. So, to compute for the rate, 
total lang, so no need to group according to cost driver, kasi nga this is traditional costing system, so automatic 11 to 50 divided by 1,000 na direct labor hours, so meron siyang 11.25 per hour. So apply mo lahat, yung 11.25 based on the uh, direct labor hours. So meron si widget A, meron sa 400 na direct labor hours multiplied by 11.25. So meron siyang 4,500. Okay, widget B naman, 600 hours multiplied by 11.25. So meron siyang 6,750 na total for overhead. And the total overhead for both widget A and widget B is 11 to 50. So, meron ka ng traditional costing and meron ka na rin AB costing as computed kanina. So, now let's compare how come it is over costing or under costing. So, like here for example, under traditional method, the overhead cost allocation for widget A is only 4,500. But under activity-based costing, it should be 4,925. So, merong difference na 4 to 5 na under costing. So, kulang yung pag-cost kay widget A. Kasi nga, mas maliit yung traditional kasi sa ABC. While for widget B naman, 6,750 yung traditional, but under activity-based costing, mas maliit siya, which is 6,325, and meron siyang difference na 425. So you see, widget B is over costed. Na sobraan siya under traditional method. So, the question na, which is more accurate? Siyempre, the more accurate is ABC costing. Kasi nga, per cost driver siya. Note that the total cost, uh, to get cost per unit, we will divide by the number of units produced. So that is for the first part. Oh, and then let's wait for the second part, which is your ABM. So we're done with activity-based costing. The next one is ABM, activity-based management. Thank you very much. Goodbye and God bless.